Hello, friends. Today we will draw space with you. And what is there in space? Hmm. Right. Many, many stars and even more planets, big and small. First, let's add some stars to our space painting. Yay! Beautiful, aren't they? Yes! Our sun is a star, and you can see many other stars in the night sky. They look like tiny dots because they're far away. Oh, look, that's our sun. Let's color it. We'll use orange to color the outside of the sun. The sun is the closest star to our planet, Earth. The sun gives us light and heat. Without them, there wouldn't be life on Earth. The sun is at the center of our solar system. Everything else, like planets, orbits around it. Now, let's use some yellow for these parts of the sun. It looks so pretty, doesn't it? The sun is made of hot gas. It's not solid like Earth. It means that nothing and no one can stand on its surface. The sun is ready. The sun is billions of years old, but it won't burn out for a long time. The sun can also have solar flares, which are like big and very powerful bursts of energy. Let's put the sun in the middle of the solar system. Now let's look at this planet. How about playing a game? I'll start coloring this planet blue. And you try to guess what its name is. A small hint. It's often called the blue planet. Now we need to add a bit of green. Because there are lots of forests, we also need a bit of brown. It's Earth, our home planet. Earth isn't perfectly round, it's slightly flatter at the poles. Earth's atmosphere is made of gases that we need to breathe. Deep inside, Earth is hot and liquid. Earth has one natural satellite, the Moon, which orbits around it. More than 10,000 satellites orbit Earth. Let's put Earth in its place. What about this planet? What's its name? It's orange. That's because of rust in the soil of this planet. This planet also has massive dust storms. We need red to color this planet too. It'll look slightly red if you look at it at night. By the way, you can see this planet even without a telescope. And this planet is Mars. A year on Mars is almost twice as long as an Earth year. Mars has the tallest volcano in our solar system. The atmosphere on Mars is very thin. You can't breathe there without a spacesuit. A flying helicopter named Ingenuity went to Mars together with a big rover. Their main goal is to explore Mars, also called the Red Planet. They take a lot of pictures and send them to scientists on Earth. Mars is cool, isn't it? Let's explore this planet next. This planet has huge rings and we'll need orange to color it. These rings are made of billions of pieces of ice and rock. They stick together and make giant rings. You'll find yellow if you look at this planet really well. There are also some shades of brown. This planet has more moons than any other planet in our solar system. Do you know the name of this planet? Right, it's Saturn. If you found a bathtub big enough, Saturn would float there. It takes Saturn almost 29 Earth years to orbit the sun. That's a long time. But even though a year is so long, a day on Saturn is only about 10 and a half hours.
That was Saturn. And this is gonna be our next planet. We'll color it blue and pink, then blue again. It's striped like a cake, pink, blue, so many layers. Even purple. This planet is an ice giant. That's why it's blue and purple and pink. What is it called, guys? Right, it's Neptune. Neptune is a cold, dark, and windy ice giant planet, the farthest from the sun. Neptune has the strongest winds in the solar system. It also has at least 14 moons. The largest of them is called Triton. Scientists think diamond rain may fall in Neptune's atmosphere. Ice cold Neptune. This planet is huge, guys. Time to color it. First comes beige. By the way, this planet is indeed the biggest in our solar system. Let's add some brown. This planet has at least 95 moons. Now, a bit of gray. This planet isn't rocky like Earth. It's a gas giant. Finally, some orange and red. This planet is Jupiter. This planet is so big that over 1,300 Earths could fit inside it. Jupiter is made of gases and doesn't have a solid surface. Jupiter spins around very quickly and its day is very short. Jupiter is really giant. In comparison, this planet is tiny. Let's color it and guess its name. First, brown. This is the smallest planet in the solar system. It's also the closest to the sun. I'll use orange to color it too. It's a rocky planet like Earth, and its name is Mercury. Mercury zips around the sun very, very fast. Its year is just 88 Earth days. On Mercury, it's extremely hot during the day and freezing cold at night because it has almost no atmosphere to trap heat. Mercury doesn't have any moons orbiting it. Mercury is a little tough guy. But let's explore the next planet. Here we go. The first color is blue. Do you know why it's blue? Right, because this planet is an ice giant too. We'll also add some light blue. This planet is made up of mostly ice and has a rocky core. It's also very far from the sun. That's why it's so cold there. Like Saturn, this ice giant has rings too, but they're thinner and darker. This planet is Uranus. Uranus has at least 27 moons, small and big. Uranus spins on its side, unlike other planets in our solar system. Uranus also has the coldest temperatures in our solar system. It's freezing. Let's put Uranus in its place. There's one more planet left. Hmm, let's see. We'll need brown first, then orange. This planet is the hottest in our solar system. It's often called Earth's sister planet. A day on this planet is longer than its year. It has a very thick, toxic atmosphere. People couldn't breathe there. We add some yellow and Venus is finished. Venus is similar in size and made of similar materials to Earth. It rotates in the opposite direction from most planets. The clouds on Venus are made of a very dangerous acid. That was Venus. Now, let's take a look at all the planets. Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, 
Uranus, Neptune. 